looking at this old oak tree on the property and well in south texas it's southeast texas if you want to consider 50 years old maybe 60. it's not like the ones in south carolina that are a couple of hundred years old or in savannah georgia there was one there that must have been 200 years old that was gigantic i love that old tree but anyway the uh I prefer cedar trees. I, I like cedars. My dad used to cut down the old ones in the woods at our home in South Carolina to use for uh, corner posts and building houses and sheds and barns and such. He liked cedar. And I don't blame him. I like it too. I've always thought when it's time for my end to come, I don't want to be preserved or embalmed or anything. I just want my body planted underneath a, tree, a cedar tree. That's what I want. It's kind of like living on, you know, the the parts that make up my body, the micronome and the the uh, cells and things like that. They provide nutrients and life to a new tree. Yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Play hell getting something like that done in this modern age, though. You'd have to do it yourself uh, with your last breath, you know, somehow manage to get under a tree, huh? <laughs> Ah uh, well, these times we live in.